Okay, let's do another test. Here I have some foam, some sort of spongy material. In the bucket I have some acetone. Let's see if the acetone eats this away. Hopefully it doesn't, but I don't know, it's pretty volatile stuff. Um, if it doesn't, I will make... Well, I'll show you what I'll make if it doesn't. If it does, well, I'll still tell you. That's kind of dirty. I've been washing things in there, but it still should be pretty strong. Yeah, it's expanded. I don't know what, how that will affect it. Hmm. I think it's just expanding that. Which isn't so bad. I was worried that it might fall apart or something, which it doesn't. It's just become really soft. It's just become really soft and um, expanded. Okay. Alright, that's good. That's good. Looks like it can be useful for the purpose I need it for. <coughs> I'll leave that outside to, um, <coughs> to dry. Alright, let's try this other piece. <coughs> I'll rip off the edge. I don't mess up the whole sponge. Uh, I'll use the thicker edge. Again, same thing, expands. Yeah, nothing much seems to happen to it other than the expanding. It, it does seem to be slightly slimy. I'm not sure if that means it's melting or what. So. I'll leave that outside as well. Um, there's that, and there's also I have. Right, I believe that slimy feeling was from my blood, actually, not um, not the foam. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I will. With that, let's change hands. I will drill a couple of holes in this. One in the center. There used to be protein powder one in the center and a few holes around the sides and around the sides I will just stuff some foam in there, some of the sponge in there to just be kind of suspended there so that air can sort of breathe through it and in the middle there will be a small hole that I can get a spray gun and spray into it right so basically when I'm spraying the resin for a gel coat I will then want to clean the gun out pretty quickly, so what I'll do is um, I'll fill the gun with acetone, spray it in here, and it should be able to um, not be very messy that way. I suppose it should be a pretty clean way to spray the gun. I don't want to just spray it out here somewhere. So if I spray it in the bucket, it should escape through the, through the sponge and um, it should be okay. Let's see how the actual bits of foam are doing. Fine, and yeah, fine. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that foam. Like structurally, it's it's holding together really well. So that's good. Oh, my God.
Now, I'm not sure if these five, uh, six holes will be enough to provide enough um, breathing sort of space, given that the, it does have to go through a sponge. Um, but if I need to, I can just drill more holes. But yeah, basically what I'll be doing is I'll fill the spray gun canister with acetone to clean it, pour it in here, push it down, and then hopefully the acetone will stay in there and the air will just escape out through here, the pressure. Um, if any of them pop out or anything like that, I'll just have to drill more holes, which will be pretty easy. Uh, perhaps even on the sides, whatever. Um, yeah, so that should come in very handy for cleaning the spray gun, which is very important. If you don't clean this, the resin will get um, cured inside it and it's good by a spray gun. And of course, I don't want that acetone stinking off the joint, so I'll put a bit of tape over that one remaining hole, which I can then take off and put back on when, um, when I need to use it. And I can still use it just like a normal bucket, of course. Um, I can open this and yeah, I can open that up and uh, wash things inside there. And then I have, I have, I'll be using one more bucket. I don't know where I put it. Um, with cleaner acetone, so, like this is all yellow and dirty from the resin that I've washed in there already. But um, I'll have another one that's clean. So say if I have a brush or a roller or something that I use. I'll wash it in here first, in the in the dirty resin, in the dirty acetone, and then once it's relatively clean, then wash it in the cleaner acetone to clean it out even more. Um, and then after some time, when this becomes useless, throw it out, dispose of it properly, and um, and add get the acetone that used to be the clean stuff, throw it into this one to now be the dirty stuff, and fill up the clean acetone a bucket with new acetone. That way you always you can clean things properly every single time.